friends if i take this motor to any electrician for checking this then to check this motor electrician do not use multimeter for checking this motor he use series testing board series testing board he has it is designed in a way that every work can be performed like if we want to check this motor through series testing board then he uses this plug top and to directly run this motor he uses this socket along with this if he wants to check any bulb then he connect the bulb with bulb holder and by pressing only one switch he can check any bulb so this series testing board which electrician uses how to do wiring of this this is only we are going to learn through this video okay then let's start the video to make series testing board you need 3 pin socket and one 2 pin socket after this to connect bulb we will use a bulb holder now to provide power supply to these 3 we are going to use three switch now for wiring of switches and the socket what we have to do the switch here first of all we have to short these switch to short these use a piece of wire like this remove the insulation of this wire i am removing this so here i removed the insulation now i only have wire what i will do with all the lower terminals connect this wire You can see here all the three terminals on below side I short these with each other through a wire. After this this socket here I am going to provide power supply to this socket through this switch. So I am using this type of piece of wire. Connect one end of wire with upper side terminal of switch here. Now take other end and this right hand side pin of socket here connect wire with this pin. Now to provide phase supply to this bulb holder I am going to use this switch. So I am taking a piece of wire connect one end of wire with output terminal of this switch now take other end of wire end to this bulb holder here provide phase supply now to provide power supply to this two pin socket i am going to use this switch output terminal of this switch here with this terminal connect one end of wire with this terminal now take other end of wire and with any one terminal of socket connect this wire now in this same two pin socket with upper side terminal connect another wire take other end of this wire and connect with the same pin where we provided phase supply from here before it means if we turn on this switch or if we turn on this switch for series testing then in both the conditions phase supply is given at this point so we did connections of phase supply now we have to do connection of neutral supply for connection of neutral power supply i am going to use a black wire to this bulb holder here i need to provide neutral supply so with this point i am connecting this black wire after connecting this take other end of wire and in this socket with another pin connect this wire this bulb holder needs neutral power supply and to this socket also we have to provide neutral supply so connection of all these switch and socket is completed now we only have to connect phase supply to this switch board for this i am using two wires here one red wire and one black wire red wire will be for phase and black wire will be for neutral now take both these wires and this red wire here among these three switch connect this wire with any one switch this wire loop we connected before with this loop only we have to connect this wire so i am taking this wire and connecting with this switch now take this black wire and this socket here in this socket where we connected neutral power supply before or in this bulb holder where we connected neutral power supply among these two points with any one point you can connect this wire so right now what i am doing is in this bulb holder with this point i am connecting this wire okay then wiring of this series testing board is completed now here with this two pin socket we have to connect two pin plug top through which we do series testing now how to do wiring of this two pin plug top let's understand this so first of all let us open this plug top after opening this here you will find two terminals with these two terminals you have to connect two wires take these two wires and connect with these two terminals okay after connecting tight these screws now mount this again here so our plug top is ready now with this series testing board i am connecting a bulb after connecting this bulb if i want to check this bulb that it is okay or not then just by pressing this switch bulb will start glowing now here this motor i have if i want to check this motor that it is okay or not then for this i will use this two pin plug top take this plug top and connect with this two pin socket 
After connecting this, you have to turn on this switch. After turning on switch, first of all, touch these two wires with each other. On touching these, bulb must glow. Bulb is glowing, it means everything is okay. Now in this motor, there are four wires. We have to do testing of these. So first of all, I am testing these two wires here. With this wire, connect one wire and with this wire, connect other wire. You can see bulb is glowing. It means in these two wires, continuity is there. Now I will check continuity of these two wires. Here also bulb is glowing. Now I will check this wire with this wire. You can see still the bulb is glowing. It means these two wires are connected somewhere. Now let's check this wire with this one. Here bulb is glowing dimly and here it is glowing properly. So we saw in all the four wires continuity is there. So we can say our motor is ok. Now this socket here let's test this also. With these two wires we have to connect capacitor so I am connecting this. Now take these two wires and connect with this socket. After connecting this turn on this switch. Motor will start running. After turning on this you can see motor started running. Perfect. Friends how was this video? Please tell me by commenting in the comment section. If you like this video then please give like on this video. Thanks for watching this video.